So what exactly did these analysts say that could breathe new life into Domino's after a year and a half of stock weakness? Well, it turns out there was company weakness, too. So let's start with the initiation from Piper Sandler. That's analyst Brian Mullen, published Tuesday night after the close. This was part of a broader launch of coverage for what's known as the limited services restaurant sector. From 2009 till 2019, Mullen noted the limited service space grew at a much better clip than the full service space, accounting for nearly two-thirds of the restaurant industry's growth. This was where the action was. Mullen then breaks down the limited service restaurant into two subgroups, franchisers and owner operators, pointing out that Wall Street tends to favor the franchisers more when the economy goes down. But right now, most of their stocks are on the more expensive side. That's why he wants to get selective. And he only recommended Domino's and Wendy's. When it comes to Domino's, he says he's been worried about competition from third-party delivery plays like DoorDash or Uber Eats. Because for years, Domino's had its own competitive edge from its terrific digital platform and its own driver network. DoorDash can instantly make a mom-and-pop pizzeria competitive with Domino's or Papa John's or Pizza, at least in terms of delivery. But this analyst at Piper has changed his mind because Domino's has changed itself. In other words, he's really reacting to maybe a better company. That's because these delivery worries are now very much baked into the stock, right in there. But beyond that, Domino's keeps taking market share within the pizza category. So clearly, it's not that bad. His overall thesis, the worries that have kept Domino's down are really worries about the pizza category as a whole, where Domino's remains one of the strongest operators. And while there might be a couple more tough quarters left, this chain's going to be just fine. They're keeping share even without joining that third-party delivery service, which takes a huge bite out of their profits. <laughs> Let's see how big a bite. Oh. <laughs> wow! Thank you. <laughs> of course, Piper Sandler had a pretty bearish outlook for the, the next couple of quarters. Talking about negative same store, say, never talk with your mouth full, Mom. Thank you. That was the dimension side. But in the end, the argument is that the stock simply performed too poorly versus its peers. It's too cheap to ignore. It's going down and down and down. Sir Luxon. If anything goes right, Mullen believes Domino's can work higher. And sure enough, that's what happened a day later. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at CNBC.com. Or give us a call at 1-800-743-CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.